The following program is intended for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. This I've got to see. It's worth watching, so stay tuned. Happy Monday, January 18th, 2021. Look at you guys. Brian's here. Mr. Steve, Ian Kent. Ian's cooking show will come on later. Chris is here. <laughs> Chris wants to see the cooking show, too. I want to see some, like, let's make apple pie or pumpkin pie or something. I want to, re- <laughs> want to request. What do you want today? Come on. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite, Jeff? <laughs> Let's see some baking. That's what I'm looking for, baking. <laughs> yeah, we had, uh, well, our traditional Southern food. We were on week, what, two? At least two, two and a half weeks here in Savannah, Georgia. And let's see, I don't know how much fried food or bacon in my green beans or hush puppies, which is just fried corn. If you don't know what hush puppies are, fried corn. <laughs> or let's see what else, bread and tea and key lime pie. I can only say no to key lime pie so many times. <laughs> I said I said yes about four days ago, and I said no last night. It was painful. You don't What's want key lime pie. What's it's that? good stuff. That's all you gotta know. It's <laughs> it's pie. It's baked goods. Me and baked goods are like this. Don't tell Cynthia. I make. I know. I, know. I make, Oh, she knows. <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah, and I think I said last week we went to a, a Dutch waffle house here. So some. There is actually legit, does it Dutch or Belgian? Belgian? I don't know. Oh, the one in there somewhere. One of those countries. Belgian. Belgian. Be- <laughs> Belgian. Belgian waffles with peach cobbler on top of it. So Belgian Belgian waffles meets Savannah, Georgia peach cobbler. Oh my God. Oh my God. I said I just I needed to put a hand on Cynthia to remember that this is the woman in my life and not the Dutch watch waffles with the peach cobbler that's not where you put your hand (laughs) it's like off camera you can't see it was actually a little more familiar it was peach cobbler is a whole other topic well welcome gentlemen let's get into it i love when you keep your cameras on oh yeah (laughs) yeah very ironic steve absolutely or kent absolutely so i love when you keep your cameras on let's get started for today i've got different a different warm-up today I guess it's a literal warm up for Jeff Gordon. He's going to share. Uh, he's doing like a prank on a car salesman. Jeff Gordon put a disguise on. So this is a fun one. I found a few of these. I'll share a few of these this week. There's some Jeff Gordon's got a couple of them. And then there's like the Asian girl who's really the fast and furious model and car model and has a badass car. Like I'm going to show some of that later this week. We've got Jeff Gordon today. But before I before I introduce my peach cobbler, too late. I already, already <laughs> the Dutch waffles beat Cynthia to the punch on Monday. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're so kind. <laughs> you're so kind. Well, we're only here. We're in Savannah until this Friday, and then we head out on Saturday. Uh, you've been having like salmon, and there's seafood's different all over the country. We went to Boston. This the seafood in Boston and up into Maine is different than it is here. Here's a little more low country. If you guys have heard of low country cooking, like cornbread and crawfish and fried flounder and catfish and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more country cooking down here. Everything's got butter and bacon and salt and all that good stuff in it too. Yeah, Mr. Shea is here. Hussein came in, good to see you guys. Bradbury's in here today. That looks like Sergio, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, that's Sergio, he's here. Good to see you, buddy Patrick's here. Love you guys. Let's go ahead and get into the show. Welcome. This week, we're going to talk about uh, what we, Cynthia and I, have realized is our ninja level shit is the art of relationship, the art of seduction. There's three levels of relationship, as David Data would talk about, and Cynthia and I love to dive into all of those, but also especially level three, the ninja level work that we talk about. So I want to talk more about that today and this week. She wants to feel your commitment to the art of relationship and seduction. And this woman to my left is the only woman allowed on the show ever, Cynthia Cruz, for her professional feminine perspective. We've been in private practice for going on five years. Only woman allowed here. Thanks for being here, Cynthia. Hey, thank you for having me. Happy Monday to you. Thank you for being here. Do you want to talk about having your hand in my crotch while you ate salmon? She didn't do that. <laughs> How, yeah, how come you didn't put your hand on my crotch when you ate? Wait, never mind. Maybe we should talk about that some more time. Yeah. No, okay. All right. Well, your parents are sitting right across the table. So maybe. 
That's that is fun. So my mother, who's 70 years old, and my dad is 77. My mom said she watched uh, some of our videos and she said, I can't watch my son talk about sex. So I can't really watch that. And then what was it? Um, oh, my dad goes, well, what do you talk about? And I said, well, how to, you know, have more sex and have better sex and relationships. And he goes, you can learn that. He's joking. My dad's funny. And I'm like, yeah. And he said, well, I forgot exactly how it came up. But I said, yeah, so mom doesn't touch your dick very often. Huh? I was, you know, going way over the top. And <laughs> my mom looks at my dad and she goes, don't you lie. Like she touches him quite often. And I said, yeah, maybe I don't want to hear about this either. Maybe I understand why my mom doesn't want to watch me talk about sex. And let's just change the peach cobbler and Dutch, whatever else. <laughs> Is there any more cornbread? Pass the cornbread. I don't want to talk about that either. They're, my parents are awesome, though. They're fun. So we're not going to talk about my parents' sex life today. <laughs> we're going to talk about... <laughs> we've got posts from the forum. Ian and Kent already brought up a topic I wanted to talk about today as well as far as owning your own self. And Kent's got a scenario that he wanted to bring up for the men. He's been chatting with me, chatting in the relaunch group, which is pertinent for everybody here. And we're going get, to get into some more ninja level shit. Last week, you brought it up as being grounded, being breath, deep in your breath and your belly and open heart. And not only are those literal practices, but those are a metaphor for three buckets of the way to bring ninja skills into relationship. Grounded feet, deep breath and open heart are not just the literal practice, they're metaphors for the deeper work as well, the deeper, deeper ninja level work. So welcome to the show. We'll get into some comedy to start because we dive into the shit. Welcome gentlemen. Yeah, you are a man starting to rise in the world. We want to kick up off, off the bottom of the pool with perspective and a plan. Perspective of what's going on, what's going on in your situation, what's going on. And while well, you can't see what you don't know, you don't know what you don't know. We can't see our own blind spots by definition. So we get perspective. We kick up off with a plan and perspective, a plan of which way do I want to turn my shoulders? And these are all metaphors of what we teach every single day, as you guys know that have been here before. We've got Cynthia's sexcapades coming up today. Surpr oh, surprise her. I love grapes. <laughs> I saw this for one second before I started the show. I cheated today. I was like, grapes are tasty. <laughs> grapes. Grapes are good. I'm just going to keep saying that. Grapes are good. <laughs> All right, let's get into our show today. That's going to be a Cynthia's sexcapade spot. She's going to talk about surprise her, and I'm going to be surprised. I don't know what Cynthia ever is, has warmed up for us. So surprise her. It looks like she's wet. Is that fair to say? That's the correct way to eat grapes. It's an unknown thing commonly in the States, but it's well known in Europe. So, oh, you know. well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Wet and grapes. I don't know. That seems to make sense somehow. Here's our stake. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Here's our stake staircase of courage question. So, if you're not Patrick Shea, if you're not driving, Anyone who's not driving right now and you're serious about this shit, you're gonna post the answer to this into the chat. Uh, I did a little research. There is a researcher, Kelly McGonigan, McGulkin. I'm not saying her right. <laughs> Macaulay Calkin. That's not her name. She's a Stanford researcher. Kelly McGilkin, I believe is her name. She's doing some research this morning about uh, willpower and avoidance. And one thing we wanna do, research shows that we want to understand what excuses we use in our head, what our psyche, our ego, our little boy, uh, that other side of us that you know just wants to hedonistically enjoy the moment. What does that voice in our head say to give us an excuse? So when we're avoiding something, when we're avoiding maybe doing something good for ourselves that we know we want to do, what's the excuse in your head say? So this is one half of a daily sort of journaling that she talks about. She's got a TED talk. She's got a whole bunch. She has a Google talk. I listened to about half of this morning on my walk here in Savannah. I'm going to dig more into her research. She's a, like I said, a Stanford PhD and researcher. When you avoid, what's the excuse in your head? So punch that into the chat. Not only is that for you to flush it out, but also if we have time, we can talk about it and other men can relate to you. That's a huge piece of why we're here, guys, is this tribe. You're here for the Spartan that's next to you. 
you know, like I say, to pull each other up out of the mud when we when we need it, or the other man's in the mud and you're here to help him up out of the mud. That's a piece of my morality, my belief, my integrity as a man is that we're here to help other people in the world that are going through tough stuff that especially that we can relate to. And that's why we're here. That's why I started in this field over five years ago. So punch in the, into the chat. What's the excuse in your head? To watch the rest of this episode for free and other episodes, go to greatmenmovemountains.com slash VIP. Punch in your info and watch the rest for free. Get more affection, love, and sex in your marriage. Get less paralyzing fear and rejection. Never miss an episode. Watch anytime, anywhere, 3 a.m. on the toilet. Get full episodes. GreatMenMoveMountains.com forward slash VIP. The C-Note Show.